Go ahead, George. Go on and, and, and fly away, babe. Just be free. He was clearly an innovator. He was cocky. He had a great haircut. We didn't really have that much money. We only just really had enough to feed ourselves. I think with George, it wasn't his ambition to be in the Beatles for his whole life. You see a few pictures and read articles about you know, George Harrison. You don't realize that it's actually about yourself. It's like a marriage. You love each other, but you're getting fed up. We knew that he was peaking. George liked to surround himself with people that were good at something. What I feel. He'd mortgaged his house to put up the money for this movie because he wanted to see it, which is still the most anybody's ever paid for a cinema ticket. Well, we got to do something, you know, with our lives. He comes in to me because he'd been to India again, I think. He said, oh, I've got this song. I think we shared a lot of tastes, cars or clothes, and, he, and women, obviously. Here comes the sun. I was being treated like the Messiah or something. Mr. Chapman shot John Lennon. You know, if someone said you can have everything in five lifetimes or you can have a really intense one, he would have said, give me the one, I'm not coming back here. People always say, I'm the Beatle who changed the most, but really that's what I see life is about. You have to change. 